Diagnosis is important on several levels. First of all, it tells you at the basic level why somebody has the difficulties they have, what the potential long-term consequences are, and gives you some guide as to what specific treatments can be for that compared to other areas. There are differences in how people with fetal alcohol syndrome present compared to other conditions. So knowing the subtleties of that and understanding how they will react differently, for example, to say some medications, is important if you're going to guide treatment. The second level is in terms of prevention. If you want to prevent it, what's been shown is that if you identify one child with FASD, the likelihood of having another child is about 80%. So there's a prevention aspect to it. The last part really is for the individual themselves. If the person wants to stay well and to keep themselves healthy and away from harm, they need to understand why they do things differently. And to give you an example is we've seen people where it's changed their life because they tell us they now understand why they have to live their lives differently. They keep themselves away from harm, those things that cause them risk, and they ask the right questions to the right people and they do better. If you don't have that diagnosis, none of that happens. So getting the diagnosis right is really important.